welfare fraudsters are on notice, with the federal government going high-tech to catch them out. It's launched a new digital forensic lab here in Brisbane, as Queensland takes out top spot for the most number of doll cheats. It looks like something out of CSI. This digital forensic lab full of high-tech gadgetry and cyber specialists, focused on catching welfare cheats. $174 billion worth of welfare and related payments. That's a fair amount of money for organised crime to come after. The lab has been specifically set up to gather digital evidence on those using computers, even encrypted phones, to commit fraud against Centrelink, Medicare and child support services. The multi-million dollar lab is only the second of its kind in Australia. The other facility in Canberra has already helped jail criminals like Mohammed Omar, who claimed $370,000 through the National Disability Insurance Scheme for disability services he never provided. If you're saying you actually went to uh, job interviews in location A, B and C, but your devices said you were in Cairns and Port Douglas having a great time at the taxpayer's expense because you defrauded them for some money, you might have some difficult answers to, uh, I should say, difficult questions to answer. But it's not just individuals the government is cracking down on. This high-tech lab will also crunch the large volume of public data generated each day in a bid to detect and catch organised crime gangs. That sort of uh, lab forensic ability is going to be crucial to actually combating organised crime. Shannon Marshall McCormack, Nine News. Queensland is watching the number one news hour.